So let's try this again. <laughs> I thought I was filming for the last couple of minutes until my camera went away on my phone and I realized I hadn't pressed record. <laughs> um, what I decided to do today is make another one of my wire trees. Earlier this week I showed you how I put them on the on um, a bottle. Sometimes I use jars, but in the video I used a bottle uh, to make a little lamp with the tree and fairy lights. Well, today I'm making the actual tree. I already got a head start on the trunk and the branches. I used uh, two different colors of 19 gauge wire and I used uh, four pieces of the bronze wire and uh, six pieces of the blue. So it's just, at this point, it's just like stringing on beads, uh, stringing a necklace with the wire, but a tree. So same idea as the necklace, but not a necklace. And I just, um, I just kind of wing it. I have an idea of what color beads I want to use. And other than that, I just see what happens. This is a fun project too that I, um, I like to do when I have, uh, some odds and ends with my beads. Sometimes, you know, you end up, you buy beads for a specific jewelry project and then you don't use all of those and they just kind of sit there for a while. Um, this for me, this is something I like to do with those beads. Although I think I have had times where I, yeah, there were times when I bought um, beads specifically for trees, but that's kind of a rare thing anymore. I just use, like to use up what I have. Some wire, the, the thicker the wire, the harder it is to, to do with your fingers, and it can really cause your fingers to ache, but this one this is pretty easy to use. I do curl up the ends though. Um, I think I mentioned in the other video with the tree, uh, the ends get pretty sharp, so I don't like to just have them out there. I will say... That making one of these you know, the camera between myself and the <laughs> and the tree is uh, working pretty well sometimes I don't pay attention to how close the tree the the branches get to my eyes I'll be focusing on just getting the the beads on one particular branch and all of a sudden it's like my eyes focus and oh my god I could have stabbed myself in the eye with that wire so this phone is actually protecting me here <laughs> so there's a tip if you decide to try your hands at one of these and uh, you know, you're working on one be mindful of where the wire is in relation to your eye never actually hurt myself, thank goodness, but just something to be, something to keep in mind there. I'm also still getting used to filling what I'm doing, so keeping an eye on this and whether my camera's in focus sometimes gets a little tricky, so I'm sorry if the camera goes out of focus for a second. Something cool though, 
I've had this phone for about five months now, and last night I just figured out how to open up, how to open and use the Pro Tools. It accidentally opened it a while ago, and I could never figure out the way I was, way to do it deliberately until yesterday. So that's fun. I don't think any of these beads are glass beads. I think they're acrylic. I know, well, like this one and this one are wooden beads, but the, um, the others are acrylic, I think. I think. Yes. But you can do it with any kind of beads. You can do it with um, acrylic, glass, polymer. Whatever you have, whatever you decide. Hobby Lobby has a really neat line of um Oh no, I think they're called I think they're called fairy tale. They have some really neat um, beads and charms that are fun to include in trees. And I think I did a Halloween themed one a while ago, and I had gotten a, a small a black uh, lantern from that line, and it looked really cool in the tree, because it had um, a little ball in the center of it that made it look like little um, glass that would carry the flame. It looked really cool, especially once I got it on the lamp. talk about Hobby Lobby a lot. That's the main store that I get my art supplies from because they have a lot of cool stuff and really good sales too. So. I think most of these beads came from there. Also about the wire, be careful because it can poke into your skin. I've had to pull pieces of wire out of my skin before. It's not exactly fun. <laughs> I also realized what was missing the last couple of videos I had music playing. And I didn't start any today. had a bit of a headache earlier, so I think I'm a little out of sorts on this video. <laughs> but we'll make do. I like making these videos, so I didn't want to skip it. It'll be all right. I like to have some things dangling from the trees too. I just I think it's neat when there are some moving pieces as well. Just makes it more interesting. There's really no wrong way to do them, also. I like that, you know? Just whatever you feel like putting on them. And 
really however many beads you feel like putting on there as long as they all fit. This one's biting me a little bit. There we go. And I do twist both, hopefully you can tell that in the video, I do twist both pieces of wire. Uh, it holds them on there better and it also, oh no, I lost the bead. It also um, gives you, keeps the wires even. Because if you just do it, cat fur. <laughs> if you just do it this way where you have one still and then you just like wrap it around. See, I don't like that as much. If I kept going with it, they really would have been uneven. Take my word for that. <laughs> and don't worry about keeping the branches um, the way you want them. Like, arranging them while you're doing this because they'll probably get moved around a little bit more um, while you're putting on more beads. So you can always do that later. Don't stress yourself out about it while you're creating the tree. Because once you put it on the bottle or, or um, glass or jar or whatever you're going to attach it to, you'll inevitably have to fix them again. I have a smaller gear, I'm going to use that. I think the small these blue gears came from um, came from Michaels. Giving credit where credit is due. <laughs> Going very quick, fairly quickly for one of these. Uh, not quite at the 15 minute mark, so that's pretty cool. Another thing about the wire if you go much thinner than this, be very careful because it'll. It breaks easier. It also doesn't make the tree um, as sturdy. So, not too thin, not too thick. It's like the three bears. <laughs> you have to be very kind of particular about it. Just get it just right. Just, and then if you do get them a little uneven, then you can do the, wrap the one piece around the other piece like I just said something about not doing a few minutes ago. I like to put beads on there as well that will catch the light so even if all of them you know they're a little bit different but some of the bigger ones like this will make them shine a little more I like doing that too and you'll learn what's right for you if you decide to try one of these 
I um I didn't look up any tutorials on how to make these trees. I just thought let me try something like that and taught myself as I went along. We are at the 15 minute mark, but I only have three branches left. So I'm going to just go ahead and work a little bit longer and get these finished so you can see the the end result if you like. Hopefully you stick around a little bit longer. Sorry, I'm trying to get another beat out of here. We got stuck. Drop the beat again. <laughs> Oh, that's neat. Look, that one hangs just right. It looks like kind of a sun. That's pretty cool. Okay. Figure out what to do next. I think I'm going to put another flower on this branch. I like those beads a lot. I think they're cool. I haven't worked with a lot of wooden beads, but that was part of, um, Kind of a variety pack of wooden beads, and they were all so neat. I thought, anyway. <laughs> Someone may wonder why I don't have my beads on the right side since I keep reaching across to get them. Because to my right side is the edge of the table and I'm a little bit clumsy <laughs> and I don't want to pick up that <laughs> that mess <laughs> so That one might not fit. You want to make sure too that you give yourself enough room to at least twist it, the wire twice after a bead. Because if you just twist it once, it's just gonna probably come undone and shoot right off of there. So, all right, one more branch. Hmm. Another cat fur. Huh. I'm going to put one on either wire for this part, for that one. Okay. Alright. And put 
put that one on the end of the branch in the middle of all this. Maybe remind somebody of the sun coming up over the tree. We'll see. Alright, so there you go. Um, I am going to put that one on another bottle. One of the, um, the small green bottles from the Martinelli Sparkling Cider that I showed you in my previous videos. My video, I only did one, it wasn't plural. <laughs> and, uh, be a pretty little lamp, what do you think? I thank you for spending your time with me and choosing to, uh, to spend your time watching one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed your time and that you have a great day and continue to enjoy your week. I'll be back here tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share the link on your social media pages. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And any questions, comments, critiques, please uh, leave them below. I hope you're doing well. Take care. Thank you. Have a great day.